In the Soviet times, some goods, especially electronic components, were in extreme deficiency for some unexplainable reasons. This resulted in the appearance of the so-called legendary components. With their help, some enthusiasts were able to assemble designs which were not supposed to have these components on them. A vivid example of such component is radio valve 6P3S. 6P3S is an output beam tetrode with an indirectly heated oxide cathode. Its heating voltage is 6.3 volts. The maximum anode voltage is 400 volts. The maximum power dissipated on the anode is 20.5 watts. Amplification coefficient is 13.5. Transconductance is 6 mA per volt. The valve works in any position. It has a glass design of cylindrical or figured shape. Lifespan is at least 500 hours. It has a 6-pin octal base with the alignment pin. It weighs no more than 70 grams. The valve was used for amplifying low-frequency power. It was used in single cycle and push-pull output stages of receivers and low-frequency amplifiers. The valve was also used as a high-frequency generator in tape recorders, transmitting devices and other equipment. Its foreign analog designs are 6L6, 6C and 5 and EL34. This valve became legendary because unlike other valves, it was sold almost everywhere. But the most important thing was that you could assemble quite a powerful shortwave radio transmitter from this valve. This was actively used by radio pirates. The history of the valve is also worth mentioning. Our legendary 6P3S went through several modifications. Its family tree starts with the metal 6L6 valve made in 1937. The first glass sample of 6L6 of the late 40s turned out to be unsuccessful because its reduced size bulb was overheating. Valve 6P3 at the beginning of the 50s, which had a glass design despite the absence of S labeling, had poor performance. Only by the middle of the 50s the valve design was improved. This was already a classical 6P3S. It is still manufactured with small improvements. It is labeled 6P3SE. The valve is highly respected among audiophiles. These valves are still used for developing and assembling various amateur designs. Most often these are audio frequency amplifiers.